Welcome everyone to the 21st Kids Knowledge Seekers Workshop. And today is Tuesday, September 22nd, 2015. And um, we're here once again with Kevin Devaney and Mr. Kesh. Hello, Mr. Kesh. Hello, all Knowledge Seekers. Hello. This is Kevin. Kesh, um, a while ago I posted um, on, the, on Facebook some pictures of some incense sticks uh, just for clarification um, let me let me put on my camera so you know uh, for the kids especially what an incense stick is so um, an incense stick is um, sort of um, you know um, a lot of flowers resins and oils are mixed up and hand rolled into a bamboo stick this is what it looks like and um, just a warning to the kids don't do it uh, by yourself it's just uh, you know i mean it's nothing dangerous but we shouldn't play whatever with fire so uh when i light up the incense stick uh it um let's say you know it has a rate of speed it has a, a glimming effect which it has a sort of a speed of of glowing down to you know to the uh, to the very bottom of this um, um bamboo stick now I'm going to extinguish this again and um, I'm going to show you something else. Um, different ganses, CO2 gans, CS3 gans, a mixture of, um, of, of gans paste which I, uh, um, which I made and lighted it up. And the first observation I made is that it, uh, it, light, it glows off much, much slower uh, than the other normal incense sticks. Well, you know, you remember you said um, uh, when you burn wood, it, you can create from the ashes uh, nano gans material. Um, you can, you know, explain that in detail for the kids to, to, to understand. And um, essentially, my first question is, when you light up um, an inset stick, um, wouldn't be after it burns off, uh, sort of be nano coated naturally, just a normal inset stick. When you light it up, when it glows, glimps off, isn't it sort of um, a nano coating, a normal, um, uh, you know, a nano coating procedure? When you burn, don't forget. Take your nano stick. Can we see the, what is that shiny bit? Is it a stand for a... Yeah, it's an instant stick holder. It's just an instant stick holder. Did you put anything on it, or is it just a normal? This one? No, no, no. I put all. I, I soaked. I soaked my incense stick into different ganses, gans water, and a gans paste. Uh huh. And then you burned it. And then I burned it, and it and it glows. And what do you call it? It burns off much slower than the usual ordinary ones. Was it dry, dry, or was it a wet? It was partially. I let it dry and then I I light it up. It was first, of course, it was soaked in. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't dry, dry as a normal as a normal stick. Yeah, yeah. So because we had this discussion recently, they're looking for a way to slow the fires, and they used the guns on the wood, and they said it's subset. And then we found that actually was wet. That's why it wasn't burning mm -hmm. and with the guns. But when you burn a material like this, you create a nano structure depending on what it is. Because most of these incense are made of vegetation. And as you know, we have spoken about the South America condition that when you burn wood, you create carbon in the nano structure. So you're, by burning this and releasing the smell, you still create nano materials. Mm -hmm. In so many ways, you uh, one you can add this, for example, to what do you call it, a caustic, and then use it again if you can clean it as a way of transmitting the attributes of the scent, or you can put it back in the water, which has already been on the Gans material and transfer the energy to it. This I was discussing with somebody this lunchtime, that's why I can tell you this very straightforward. Oh, excellent. Uh -huh. It's just by coincidence, a lot of things happen by coincidence. Mm -hmm. So, we know you can, uh, in burning it, you already 
Burning is the process of nanolizing. When you make nanomaterials, it's by burning. If you remember, in the coils, we burn the metal. We've seen it, it's been done. In burning, we create a condition that we don't let the material to go, but we hold it on, as a nanostructure. But in a structure like yours, which is a mixture of different materials, in burning, they fall off. They can't stick like a copper. So, there is no difference between the material which you burn and you release, or some of it, and the way you create nanomaterials. There's more or less the same process. It's you who has decided now, you have a nanomaterial as a GANS, as a, what do you call it, as a, a powder, if you want to put it in the salt water, and see if any of it become a GANS of itself, you see the change of the shape. Or, you put it in a caustic, that you heat it up, you add energy to the nanomaterial, to boost it up to a GANS state. And we'll talk about this later on, because there is two ways to make a GANS. You can go in a liquid condition, after water and salt, the way you do, you put a couple of plates in, and you create a GANS condition. Or, you create, by adding the heat of the caustic, the heat which the caustic creates, into the gas powder, gas powder of the, or nano powder of the uh, wood which you burnt, and then produce a gas of it, then you can produce it as a gas, so you can repeat its sense, its essence back on. There are two ways to do it. Don't forget, especially for the children, remember, if you, when you did the plates, if you connected it to a light, a large number of them, you could run a light. At the same time, when you put your plates, again, back in the salt water to create, after you create the nanomaterial on them, you get the light from the separation of the atom, from their position, to become GANS. But, the caustic in producing that separation, takes and gives energy. So, when you put the nanomaterial back in the GANS, you do the reverse, as well as you're doing, creating a nanomaterial on its own. You add energy, or take energy, from the nanomaterial powder, that it can become a gas of itself. So, there is no harm done, but what, what you add, the energy of the gas, of what you added to the stick, is embedded in the burn wood, because water, has its own fingerprints in a dry state. The initial idea I had, uh, Mr. Kesh, why I did this, is I thought that this, the, the line of thinking was, can I, can I use the smoke as an information carrier of the plasma, of the fields? Of course. Okay. But how are you going to transfer it into a state that you can capture it? Mm. Yeah? What if I the, could... smoke, the smoke partially is a smell, mm -hmm. which is a diamond structure of the same gas, which came from the same material. Uh, the, the, the scent, the way why we smell the wood or the stick when you burn, is why, how we receive the information, because when it touches in a light form our nose, our nose immediately transfers the information, which is already converted into a very fast information carrier to the brain. You can use it, but if you know how to change it. I use these scents quite a lot, I enjoy using them for years. And so many times I have thought about it. Yeah. I buy a dozen boxes, because it's good, it gives you emotional, what it does, this sense, if you do it, especially for children, it releases an energy level, which, because it carries to your nose, that it goes through your lung, brings a feeling, gives an strength into the blood, that matches, sometimes, near enough a state of peace in the mind. That's why we use these scents. 
the group that's yeah. why we enjoy different sense different us is a selection of it if you feel certain way if you burn a scent you say i feel good because the scent itself makes a nano gans of itself in a gas state that enriching your nose is already converted so immediately gets absorbed and the energy level of it is equal to part of the emotional part of our body which fits into what we feel comfortable with and then that's why we use them and just for the kids uh, you mentioned every time you know when you when you talk about the the smell it's the the odor of the gas it's a crystalline diamond structure is that what you said yeah, it's a sp3 what's the story known as a diamond structure of the gas is the smell and because it's a gas it takes the size of the environment so what what we do i mean a lot of children might know this for the ones who don't know it's very simple in a matter state for example when you have a water a cup of water whatever you put in the water takes the shape of this water that's what it is with a gas a single gas atomic or molecular can take the shape of the whole cup. If you put a lid on it, a single gas will cover the whole area. And because it has to hold its structure, it behaves like a nanomaterial, so it does not get absorbed. That's why we call it diamond structure. That's the behavior of diamond structure, not interface, no interface. So if you can get a molecule or atom of the gas, you have already have a diamond structure nano-coated material. Mm, thank you. Um, mm. It'll be okay. interesting if you pass the smoke and the smell from your uh, stick mm -hmm. directly into a caustic and watch what comes at the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. Collect any nanomaterial. Can you convert the gas, uh, what do you call it, a gas or an odor into physical, tangible thing? And you can do. I've done it. It can be done. So what you do, you create a condition where your smoke comes into a caustic, and then you take the caustic and you convert it back into a salt tap, and you see what you can collect. And this is literally changing your order to the nanomaterial gas state. I'm sure none of you or some of you might have done this, but you have to bring the heat on to change the nano structure into the matter state through caustic. It'll bubble up some of it, but then you get a bit at the end. Transfer this bit into, if you want, even to the water then you can smell it yourself, it comes back with you, you pick it up, you get like a black spot sometimes, then those black spots are order converted back into matter state. Then you can use it, put it in the water, you can smell it. Some of the odors, depending on what you use, don't need this phase. You can go directly into salt and convert it into cans. It's interesting, thank you. Man has managed to actually capture order mm -hmm. and change it because order itself is a crystal structure gas. You can touch the order. I've written something, some papers about this long time ago. So can we capture order? Yes, we can. Can you physically hold it? And then can you add it to things like the way you do with other things? So. Whatever, whenever you run your reactor, you smell roses if you want the smell of rose from it. I will actually try it out to, um, you know, to, uh, exactly as you described, to set up this, um, this, yeah, this process. Um, Mr. Kesh, what if, um, in a far-fetched exotic ID, what if you put a nano-coded spiral, like, you know, like all the knowledge seekers and Mike showed yesterday, with uh, specific gaps, like a nano-coated spiral, put it over the instant stick, whether normal or treated. What with you receive is the full energy. 
this has been done. This, this is, uh, what do you mean if you get the GANS here, or, or from caustic, or from here, and you spray it over the, uh, the tube, the springs you make? Yeah. yeah. Yes. What happens if you place it in a specific order, in a tri star formation, what you will receive will be not only the feeling, you taste, and even the emotion of it. If the herb used in a stick has, let's say, um, headache curing, or it touches the nerve of for migraine, when you pick it up, and then you take the water of it, even in a caustic state, and you spray it on the, your coil, and you put a glass of water here, the water will taste and smell of the thing. And it transfers the energy. Literally, you feel the transfer of energy. This is part of the test we are doing in the background in the Keshe Foundation. Now you open the topic, I can explain to you what we are doing. So, what we are doing is zero-time transmission of the information, of the structure of the matter energy. And it's correct, you started it, now I explain it to you, and if you want on Thursday, remind me, I explain to you how it's done. It's done by one of the associates of the Keshe Foundation, he's researching in the background for me for a specific condition. So, what we've done, we take in exactly the same position, that's why I can tell you in detail what happens. If you take the GANS of, let's say, um, a herb, which is for migraine, and you get the uh, smell of it, or you can order it, or you can GANS it in a powder form which you burnt it, and then you spray this, the liquid from this or this state on your coils, and then you place your coil in a specific condition, and you put a glass of water here and you drink it, you go drunk. If it is alcohol based, if it's migraine based, you do the same. This is what we wanted to understand if we can transfer information that we can make material out of it. And in a specific condition which is tested, if you put a cup here with a specific coating, you keep on correcting copper oxide or CO2. We wanted to be able to transfer energy into matter, and we have achieved it. I told you a few days ago, we have passed the border, we have managed to do it, um, it's, um, we'll bring it out in time, because it's still in development, we're going to test more of it. What we've done, in a specific way, when you put a cup, and you put a, the springs in a star formation, and you put a cup of water here, you start seeing matter appearing in the cup. You can put a cup here, it's still the same. Explain to you, this is, as you know, Alex is a full-time, um, what do you call it, research operator for the Keshe Foundation. And part of the development I'm doing with Alex, because of the transfer of energy to matter, is this. It'll come on Thursday, most probably now I opened it to explain to you. So, in a structure, we achieve matter. We transfer the energy into, uh, what do you call it, into the uh, coils, and in a special formation, whenever Alex puts any cup anywhere in the environment, it just keeps on producing CO2, we're transferring energy into matter. And today, and yesterday, past two or three days, I asked him to test something else, that even you can smell, he tells you, he will spray the spring, he sprayed it in the moon with the orange and banana. In the morning, he was eating orange, he was tasting, taking orange, and in the afternoon, the banana. Which when the body didn't need the orange, banana in the morning, so it took it in the afternoon when he had the energy needed for it. This is what I was explaining in the teaching today. Conversion of, and it carries not only smell, the taste, you carry the energy of the banana. So, you can spray everything you need, banana, cheese, whatever, on the spring, and whenever there is a need for it, you feel as you're receiving it from the water when you drink it. It's a transfer, transfer of the energy into matter state with the energy of the matter. It's a major breakthrough, but it's part of the research we do. I do a lot of private research in the background with the, with the people which we actually are part of the Association of the Keshe Foundation, scientists. We keep and we develop, it doesn't need to be in the forefront. And now, 
this is something which is common. I asked Alex to explain it on Thursday or in other teachings. But we don't publish anything anymore till we know more. And this is what we bring these kind of scientists into operation for the foundation to be able to develop, use their expertise and the knowledge in their field to add to the knowledge of the foundation of space deep travel. So now for the first time, we have managed to bring the matter into a state of gas, into the state of energy, and then transfer it back to the matter state level as we need it without actually the matter being there. It's a major, major breakthrough in the world of science. Transfer of energy back to matter state uh, is a strength, but not its tangibility. And in the case where he tried, he used the herb, which is used to make alcohol, and he's been drunk without even touching the alcohol. Because he transferred the energy. So it shows what we teach you in the space. Now we do research in the background. It's correct that it will be used in the future of space development. Pardon? That's their problem, it's their mistake, they understand. So, we understand what is going on now, we have managed physically, we can show it, deliver it, can be tested, that in the coming days, as we research, because this is important for us, for feeding Africa. And Alex is the ambassador of the Keshe Foundation, looking after Africa with uh, Benjamin, and for us, it's important to understand how we can feed a large number of people for what they need without actually having any food available. And this has proven that we can do this in conjunction with the discovery of what the Chinese have built. You can feed the nation freely through the system because the gas carries enough to feed the nation. It's a huge breakthrough, but the important thing was how you feel a banana in the uh, orange in the morning and a banana in the afternoon and a herb which is made to make alcohol, which is used in a container, can give the energy of alcohol that makes you drunk. So, energy transfer through plasma for feeding is 100% correct. Alex will explain it to you now. We're getting to the point of research, development, completion but he will not release any of the information unless it's released by the Foundation like this. We do not allow anybody who works with us to release any information to create problems in the center. These are fully, more or less, employed by the Foundation. We pay all the full facilities for research, and nothing will come out unless Cash Foundation decides, and as you know, as of yesterday, we opened a new research center that will be gone the same way. We are looking for youngsters, because I think young people are beautiful understanding of the plasma, can bring a lot. They can stay at home, we support them financially to do research for us. We are supporting two or three children this way, around the world at the moment. We don't expose them, but we let them research, and we don't put any pressure, till they come out with the knowledge. You have to nourish the talent, not to expect to have rewards. But with, with people, we have about, I, I'm training about 10 people like this around the world, specifically in their talent. And this is what you say, you show the scent, now you see what it is. Alex is not allowed to disclose anything unless it's closed by the Foundation, he doesn't. He has respect for what he does and for the Foundation. And we know when to bring things into operation. Shall we call it a day? Yeah, no problem. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank Mr. Thank you very much indeed. Thank See you, you next time. Thank you so much.